that Elvis, that is a tricky one. Technically, there is. So, like on the surfaces tab here, right? If you say, if you wanted something in addition to what is currently here, right? If we have this is the the default Irish shader, but if you, if say you wanted the different channel in there technically there is and this is something that seriously needs work in that studio i don't know who sets these things up but if you open something extremely shady shady shift what was the name scary <laughs> called the shader mixer that is a thing i can go and dock that in here have you looked into this yet because that's as seriously scary i'll go and collapse this I'll, in fact, I'll go and select my, my onesie here and just go on and show you what's what's going down. I think this is a little bit like the, the thing in... Oh, this is new to you. Okay, this is how you build... How Well, this was designed to build 3D light shaders in Dash Studio to literally hook them up like you would in Blender where you have, you know, texture goes from that into that, maybe goes via math node and outcomes, you know, prettiness, that sort of thing. And Dash Studio has that built in. It's a bit like the Poser material room and it kind of worked for 3D Lite. It was all, you know, was all pretty cool. And then came iRay and iRay was just so much more complicated and they still use these nodes to basically build the shader and, uh, and I'm going to show you what this looks like as a node setup. This is not it. This is just a very simple, this is kind of a basic default material here. But um, you, can, you can add and remove things from this, from this brickyard here. So there's like geometric things that you can add an area or add a bump channel and whatnot. You just go and I think you just drag these out and uh, hook these things up to that. That's, that's, the, that's the printer's ball. And... Um, in iRay, they've made this happen. They've they've given you they've given us this default shader, this iRay Uber shader, and I'll show you what it looks like. Shutters. What I have to do for that is on the surfaces tab, pick the shader that you want to bring in. So the one Z material in our case, and that was on a separate file menu up here. Super confusing. Shader mixes the tab. You can go and import this from the scene. Oh. If you do that. You wait a second, and you you pick what what you'd like to what you'd like to import. So uh, in our case, material. Hit accept, and takes a second because this is what the IRA Uber shader looks like. There's a there's a little zoom dial down here, and you can explore it at your own leisure. It ain't pretty, and it's also not something that that sane people could work with anymore. So. While I appreciate it has to be this complicated, this is where you'd add an extra channel in. Look at all the pretty lines. So here's the glossy color maps and they then go into some other preview output, input, whatnot. That then goes into something else. <laughs> and eventually we have the MDL surface description. <laughs> so yes, that is... Uh, that is what that shader looks like in, in in a visual representation. On a 12K monitor, this would look awesome. And please, if you do find out how to do this, please let me know, Elvis. This would be seriously cool because this is something... It's just like many things in Dash Studio, some things are there and the implementation is a little clunky and those in the know and patience, they can really make exciting things. So I've seen um, things much like you said uh, for the New York City tenements thing, you can uh, rebuild the shader from scratch. You can even start with other shaders as a base template. So the Iray Uber shader is extremely complex, but if you were to use, uh, did I have my, my cylinder's gone, but if I go and create, um, just create a new primitive so that we can just go futz around with another material. I'll just go and use a sphere. Sphere goes over here. Maybe. And sphere also has the default material, which is also the Iray Uber shader, but I'm going to go and replace that under presets, shaders, Iray. I say the leather shader. That's a, that's a good idea. Let's go use the leather shader. If I go back to the 
the editor here with that default material still selected on the shader mixer i can go and say file import from scene and now i'll go and import the leather material thing and that now looks uh, also complicated but different than the ira uber shader i was hoping for something a little bit more simple that i could show you that's you know really only 12 nodes or whatnot string strung together but you get the idea these channels look different and um, as a result the the whole shader tree looks different as well that's exactly what it looks like Rod. absolutely <laughs> In London, we had that as well. London um, Underground Board also looked like that. Very, very cool. <laughs> yes, that is the downside. There's, and, and of course, there's zero documentation on how to get started with this. So what this, the, the other um, tip I can give you for getting Irish channels in there, all these bricks here that they've added there, they follow the the thing that... that um, back in the day nvidia when nvidia made iray currently they don't anymore since 2018 they they don't really care about iray anymore they're they're on to bigger and better things it's still called in nvidia iray but it really isn't made or maintained by them anymore so it's under irayplugins.com that's a website for anyone who wants a subscription for the iray plugins including whatever is inside dash studio they have to go through here and these these people i think they're kind of they're kind of in bed with siemens or made by siemens it says at the at the very bottom here they're siemens industry software limited that is who's looking after iray right now and there should be somewhere i don't really know where but there should be somewhere maybe the forum can help you there should be a description of the like basically a whole book of the material definition language that's what ira uses to make pictures and every node is explained in there and all these things they that's basically what das have taken and turned into bricks and that is what you can use inside um inside das studio so yes iraplugins.com i'm gonna go and post that into the chat boom ding Yes, absolutely. Yes, IRA was only sold, so it's not dead. It's just that uh, NVIDIA themselves looks like they didn't want to look after it anymore. They just had, you know, AI on their mind and making graphics cards and not really even making graphics cards. They just specify what a graphics card should be like. Then they make a prototype and then they let, let the people from Zotac and, and um, MSI take care of actually f making those things. You're very welcome, Elvis. You're very welcome. <laughs> 